Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. Thanks. When sure. we can be out here really getting money. This young nigga besides you got plaques, bro. For sure. You know what I'm saying? You about to get plaques. All these niggas can get plaques. Yeah. You know? But hey, that's what I think. Yeah. That's what I think. But um, do you have anybody who like besides your pop? Cause I know he keep you on a straight and narrow. Yeah. Who keep you on a straight and straight and narrow? Sure, I got a lot of people. Uncles now, you know, I grew up around my uncles now. My mama, sure. I got partners, you know what I'm saying? Who I'm around, we make sure everybody accountable, like you know, mm -hmm. make sure you're doing you know on the right on the right. On the right path, doing the right thing. Yeah. I grew up around older niggas, so it just hit different, you know. I soaked up all the game from them, so I already knew how I was gonna turn out. Yeah. For sure. Straight up, straight up. Now, as far as Dallas, of course, this your city. You know, do you like? Do you go to Houston? Do you go to any other place? Like, I'm yeah. going to Atlanta, LA, yeah, get a vibe, or link up with people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah we travel. Mm -hmm. I fuck with Houston. Houston fuck with us tough. Yeah. Yeah, I like Houston. Houston the vibe, like, you wanna just go party in Houston, you party, eh? Clubs open all night. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, me, excuse me, me personally, Dallas had a, a big scene at one point. Yeah. But now, like, since the club, strip club closed, like, at two or something, yeah, now, right? Yeah, at two. Oh, that's, that's whack. Yeah. But, you know, Houston, Houston nightlife, I prefer Houston nightlife. For sure. You know what I'm saying? But living, I stay in Dallas. That's me yeah. personally. I don't know. I just like Dallas, yeah. you know. I don't really like going places where I got used GPS. So I feel like I don't know where I'm at. What? I just like Dallas. When I travel, I be really ready to go. I just like Dallas. I love Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if you go to LA yeah. and you gotta go handle some business, you gotta go to Chicago, you gotta go to New York, you gotta use a GPS. Yeah, nah, for sure. Yeah. That's business, but I'm saying for as where I wanna, you know what I'm saying, stay at. Yeah. You know? But like, I like Cali and I like, you know what I'm saying? So I you never leave in Dallas? I ain't gonna say never. Yeah. I ain't gonna say never. Mm. But I'm always have a home in Dallas, you know. I might buy my mind might change, you know. Yeah. I might wanna leave, wanna move, but I like Dallas for sure. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with your city. Man, what's the biggest misconception about your city that people think? Man, they be saying so much about Dallas, bro. Like for one, like they be like they just like they think like everybody against each other, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody really not against each other, you know. Mm -hmm. If some people out here really want to come together, you know what I'm saying? Everybody think because the city was divided with all that old stuff, you know, they think like Dallas just tore down. Nah, like, we sticking together, we coming back. We going to be stronger than ever. That's yeah, good, because I'm not going to lie. I always feel like, well, for the most part, I'm like, man, Dallas a hating? I thought Dallas was a hating city. I did, from the yeah, outside. They think we be hating. We don't be hating. Yeah. We don't be hating. We just go stay out pay how we feel. Yeah. We don't be hating though. Now tell me this, like, did you um like what's what school you went to? Did you go to like, college or anything like that? No, nah, I ain't go to college. I went to DeSoto High School, but like I ain't DeSoto. I graduated from DeSoto, but I ain't go to college now. Nah, I already DeSoto. knew I wasn't going to college. DeSoto big in football. Yeah. You played football for them? Nah, I ain't oh, you playing did? football for them. Cause DeSoto had like a lot of like a lot yeah, of DeSoto, NFL DeSoto players. DeSoto cold. Yeah, they cold. They just won last year. They did? I think year before that, they cold, yeah. So, yeah, I always heard the Soto and Duncanville. Yeah. Like powerhouse football type shit. For sure. They they gonna keep a squad. They cold. Hmm. They cold. Man. You got any records for the high school, for the bands, anything like that? Man, I'm working right now. That's I what got something for them hey. right now. For sure. We That's what you need, but. Rallies and everything. Oh, boy. You can't, you can't lose with that. Can't lose. We're finna go crazy. And then, of course, you got PV down there in Houston and TSU, yeah, TSU. and you got you a, you got you a record yeah. that can go crazy. You in there. Facts, for you sure. Know. Man, that's what's up, bro. That's what's up. What's the biggest misconception about you? Man, let me see. 
Oh damn, let me see what they say. I don't know, people feel like like I'm just like some people think like I'm mean or something because I don't be talking like when I be around people like that, they like, oh he he you know what I'm saying, he this, he that, but I really just I really be talking when I'm around my people, but like when I'm just out like I like to just be quiet, low key. I, I'm a quiet person. But if I'm comfortable around you or around my people, like I be talking, but I be for the most part I be chilling. They gonna be like, yo, I be chilling for sure. I think that's smart, being observing and chilling. Yeah, I'm I'm observing for sure. I'm watching everything, listening, ears open for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah, street niggas raise you. That's all. <laughs> That's how I be. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I'm a I'm a outgoing person, but yeah. it be sometimes I know when to be quiet and just look. Yeah. And and everything can be perfectly fine. Yeah. That's just how it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I get it like that. But right now, for anybody who watching this, bro. And they don't know who you are. They might say, Jerry, who that nigga, who that black nigga you interviewing, whatever. Yeah. What should they go listen to right now? What song they should go listen to? And like, let's go explain to them who you are as an artist. Right now, as the song that's out, I say go listen to their real members. Mm. Real members, one of the ones. Like, why is it one of those ones? It's just one of the ones. Like, it's gonna touch you. Like, you're gonna be like, okay. He know he, he know something. Yeah. Go, go tap into their real members. Out right now on everything. It's out on video out, on album music everywhere. Real members. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Now I think in in that East Dallas record you had mentioned R.I.P. the bro, bro. I can I had it bro. I had it. You said in one of your rhymes, R.I.P. to somebody. Oh, uh, I'ma play it. I'm gonna play it because I want I wanted to I wanted to get why you said it and who this person was because normally you I mean you the guy that you know you speak on people that are important in your life yeah or whatever the case may I be. I said and then he's that so I said a couple people names so I'm trying to see what name you talking about. Yeah. 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 Talk about that. Yeah. Hey, who who were those people to you? I say RP Lil Bobby B True Stanley and Joe Quinn. You know what I'm saying? Lil Bobby was it's like my kin folk. You know, he lived with me at a point of time too. He one of the ones for the East. From the East he one of the ones. I had lost him when I was young. Not he was dear to you? Huh? He was dear to you? Yeah, for sure. For sure, he the Bobby one of the ones like I used to live with him. You know what I'm saying? So I'm seeing him every day. You know what I'm saying? He died. That had that had hit home like early. I'm young. You know what I'm saying? He had got killed though. Like I was young. I was like, dang, it's crazy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? B two. That was like an uncle. You know what I'm saying? He died 2018, the day before my birthday. That that had fucked me up. You know what I'm saying? Stanley, Stanley from the hood, his birthday was just the other day. He won the ones, freestyle, I'm talking about code. You know what I'm saying? Joe Quinn, he won the ones, you know what I'm saying, from the East, freestyle, code. You know what I'm saying? Them some, them some heavy hitters from the East, like, everybody know them, you know what I'm saying? You ain't from the East, you don't know them. You know what I'm saying? They won the ones, put on for the East. Man, Gotta up, keep their name alive. For sure, bro. For sure. Oh, and I didn't get to ask you about 2700. Yeah. Can you talk about 2700? Yeah, 2700. It's my block. It's yeah. Where I was raised it, you know what I'm saying? Granny house it, you know, that's the family street. It's a dead end in the east. 2700 block, that's, that's, that's where we be at. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the family block. That's, that's where it started. Yeah. You know, I seen a lot on that street growing up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Frazier, that's that's a street name, Frazier, 2700 Frazier. For sure, I seen a lot, that's where I soaked up a lot of game in, you know what I'm saying? I got influenced by a lot of stuff on that street, seeing Unk them, Pops them come through on the whips, yeah. Jerry, you know what I'm saying? I'm young there on Granny Porch, you know what I'm saying? Then we own two houses on the street, we own, you know what I'm saying? So 
everybody coming over there every day, to, still to this day. That's that's where we be at. That's our block. Like everybody know, like them lucky boys. That's that state street. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So yeah, 2700. I'm forever screen that. That's yeah. That's where it started. It straight up. So live, so, well, live or, or dead. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a exit. So. You, your your Mount Rushmore, you right? Mount Rushmore. How many people in the Mount Rushmore? I think it's like four or five, right? It's four. Four. Yeah. Four. Dead or alive? I mean, it's all up to you. It's all up to you, man. I'm, I'm damn I'm glad you. Why you ain't tell me that earlier? Damn. Oh. I'm gonna do alive. My Mount Rushmore alive, I say. Gotti. G. I'm gonna say Gotti. I'm gonna say Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say Ross. And then, that's who I grew up as a kid listening to, like, her and Pops and Uncle them, bump them on the regular. Then, like, if I throw in, like, who I, you know what I'm saying, picked up game on, too, I put Lil Baby in there. And sure, for the last person, I'm going to say, man, I'm going to put myself. Straight up. Yeah. As you should. Yeah. As you should, man. For sure. That's what's up, man. Bro, you gonna have a prosperous career. For sure. For sure. You gotta speak it. You gotta the action matching. Man. You know, you gonna do it for sure. And you doing it. No, you already doing it. For sure. And I know your sister's proud. I know your people proud. And yeah, stuff for like sure. that. Proud. You know. So hey, just keep going, bro. For sure. For sure, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah.